Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Political Vigilante. Oh, snap, Roadshow. I'm here with uh, the co-host, my co-host of comedy film nerds, Chris Mancini. In the Gargoyle Garage. And we're in the Gargoyle Garage. Mm -hmm. Those of you who listen to comedy film nerds, you've heard about this. Those of you who haven't, you have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> but this is where we've recorded a bunch of episodes of our podcast. This is our film, Earbuds, the podcasting documentary. Those are a bunch of shirts. So if you like shirts from comedians and podcasters, what are you waiting for? Yeah, come to our site. <laughs> so I wanted to interview Chris for Political Vigilante because we obviously do a movie review podcast and uh, we wanted to talk about the Harvey Weinstein thing and the, the, the kind of the politics of that and how that has affected show business and how that will, what if any changes will happen within the rest of the you know, corporate culture that where this is allowed to happen, where a rich, powerful right. guy is allowed to abuse his power and be a sexual creep. Well, you know, the whole industry, it was like watching a scene from Casablanca where uh, the chief of police goes in and I'm shocked, shocked there's gambling going on in, yeah. this, you know, in this establishment. So, you know, it's clearly been going on for years and years and years and swept under the rug. Yeah. And this is the type of culture that needs to change. I mean, not just in entertainment, entertainment where it's very prevalent, but it's in every industry. It's right. in, you know, corporations, it's in politics, it's in tech, it's everywhere. So this type of culture, and it has to change from the ground up. So and the other thing too is it's like, can't we catch creeps quicker? Like, you know, uh, like Weinstein, none of these people knew what was what, going on. What, like, All these A-list celebrities were yeah. saving their own asses because they've known yeah. about this for for decades. Because at this point, the damage has been done. It's right. like, oh, no, now I'm going to retire in shame to my golden mansion and my billion dollars. You know, it, it it's like at some point you go, well, yeah, we caught him. But how many? That, why did it take so long? And like now... Um, you know, he's, you know, he was, he was the kingmaker of filmmakers and, you know, actors and actresses and all these things. So you have this culture that just, uh, allowed it for so many years and, you know, and it went through, you know, the old cliche of the casting couch. It was a cliche for a reason because it actually happened. And it's still happening. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's we, like, I mean, show business is, is really can be awful. There's some good things about it, but it can be pretty awful. It's awful. It's even worse for women. Right. There's no two ways about it. It's worse for women. And this, that, like, none of these A-list celebrities knew about this. They, every, like, he was one of the most powerful guys in show business. He was a notorious, like, rager, temper guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he was a... He, he was the cartoon producer. Is like, yes. throwing the entire, you know, throwing stuff and, you know. He was that guy, and he mm -hmm. abused his power, mm -hmm. and everyone was afraid to say anything about it. Right. And it happened, and everyone was like, I mean, it, it's... I mean, oh, the, you know, the, ram the ramification is like, he got kicked out of the Academy of Motion Picture Sciences. He was the second person to ever be kicked out. But, you know, the first person to be kicked out was for sharing screeners. That's why he got kicked out. But, you know, who are still members? Bill Cosby and Roman Polanski. Wow. So, so, you know, you look at this, it's like it's a symbolic gesture at best. Like, the, like stuff like that, nobody cares. What people really care about is to see the culture change. That's what we need. Yeah, is he going to get arrested? That's another great question. I mean, he's a rich white guy. He's a rich white know. guy? Probably mm -hmm. not. Uh, is he going to be... Yeah, there might be some charges, but they may go away. They may go away. Is there going to be... Uh, there, I would have to imagine there's going to be a civil suit. At I least mean, one. At least one. I mean, Cosby didn't get get to go to jail, mm -mm. you know. And um, I'd like to see multiple civil suits against him for sure. Yeah, it's funny. Somebody on Twitter goes, "Boy, uh, Woody Allen and Louis C.K. must be trembling right now." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, it's the, that's the one thing about politics that uh, you know there's scandals, you know, all the time in politics, but. Um, I will say this about politics that actually does end your career like when that when a scandal especially any kind of sex scandal comes out that does it but entertainment seems like uh, you can kind of weather you can weather a few but then if it's uh, it has to well, reach Donald Trump's career didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah he bucked that trend <laughs> for sure. Um, but you know, you seem, seems like in entertainment, you have to hit a critical mass. Well, something. let me ask you this, Chris, how, how does it change? How does the culture change in show business? I think the culture changes when behavior like the Harvey Weinstein's is no longer tolerated. And that's really what it boils down to is when, um, it's not tolerated by men, women, people of positions in power. And that's where we hit, 
the correlations to every other industry. It's like, well, it'll stop happening in tech if it's no longer tolerated. It'll stop mm -hmm. happening in politics if it's no longer tolerated. Um, but, you know, it, it's like, you know, John Edwards, his career went down instantly when there was uh, um, uh, evidence of cheating. But uh, but you, uh, when you look at Donald Trump, all the stuff he said, he still got elected president. So, mm -hmm. you know, he's the outlier in the, in, uh, in the, in the politics yeah. as far as... Uh, uh, sex scandals go but you know I, I really think that's where it is it's you know there has to be a zero tolerance policy for it and it has to start from the ground up like as soon as something happens it needs to be reported you know and HR departments need to grow some balls oh god I mean that's really what they're there for that's that's well, literally their existence I'll give yeah the, the, the HR departments and you the, know they act like the UN Security Council yeah right, exactly <laughs> well we gotta you know we paper gotta, tiger and and mm -hmm. The other thing is, that's a great point, is, well, first of all, here's this point. Hey, guys, stop being fucking creeps. Just, yeah. how about that? Yeah, you just can try, try it. Try, try it. it. Just, yeah. just stop, just don't be a creep. Just yeah. don't be a filthy mm -hmm. creep. Try mm -hmm. that. That's step mm -hmm. one. Um, and, I, I mean, I I have also seen women in power be creeps, too. Sure, But I don't course. think it's as filthy creepy. As prevalent. Yeah. As prevalent. Um, Wouldn't it be great if Meryl Streep came out and, like... You know, she had just been like yeah. working interns yeah. over and making them strip in front of her. Yeah, it's yeah. just something, like something horrible. Oh like my make, god! Making meat ice cream naked in front of a mirror, <laughs> stuff like that. Meryl Streep, yeah. sword and yeah. tails. Yeah. America's sweetheart has yeah. had decades of yeah. uh, eat ice cream naked. Oh, sadly, there's too many guys to be like, all right. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I all right. That. That's all right. Good. Um, if, if this means a supporting role. Yes. <laughs> well, that's part of the problem, too. Mm -hmm. And I am not excusing anything Harvey Weinstein did at mm -hmm. all. At all. But there are a lot of desperate actors that come to this town who will, they make that decision, yes. I'll do anything. Mm -hmm. And I think when you come to this town, you are you see, like, literally, I used to always joke, like, you see Yoda and Darth Vader. Like they face, right. they come at you and you have to make a choice. Do mm -hmm. I want to just weasel my way and make horrible rationalizations in my brain? Mm -hmm. Or am I going to say no? Right. Am I going to say I'm never going to do this? Because the sad reality... And live with the consequences of each decision. Live with the consequences of each decision. Mm -hmm. I mean, again, uh, it's several things. It's Harvey Weinstein, you know, uh, it's the HR department's growing some balls. Right. Because I know people too who who've worked in production and like, I know this one woman and she, she worked in production and some, some director producer was just berating her. And right. I'm like in any other profession, she would go to HR and the, right. and the unwritten rule is she's like, well, I can file charges, but I'll never work in this town again. Right. Exactly. That's the threat. Yes. That's the culture. You get blackballed. You get blackballed. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when they did the whole free report at Penn State University, that was one of the things they talked about. There was this culture of fear that if you went against Joe Paterno and the program, mm -hmm. you were out. That's why people right. didn't, didn't report what Sandusky was doing. And in show business, I think you have that same fear and... I, it's, the other thing, too, it attracts a lot of people with crazy family and daddy issues. So when there's a big, mean, scary man, everybody buckles in this business rather than go, shut up. So I, I, I think... Who has the button on a green light. Right, who has yeah. the button on a green light. And so um, guys stop being creeps. HR departments grow <laughs> yes. some fucking balls and right. really prosecute people. Yeah. And really prosecute and people. You know, there is a law enforcement uh, component to this, too. The, if especially crimes are, with sexual assault. It's sexual assault to sexual assault. Like, right. file fucking you know, charges. There is a difference between, you know, harassment in the workplace and mm -hmm. sexual assault. You know, assault's a crime. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a crime. So prosecute it. Mm -hmm. And... And then you, new you new actors coming to LA, don't be so desperate. Don't let these creeps get away with like report it. That like and do a YouTube channel instead, right? Instead of worried about being in, in the next uh, and, uh, Harvey Weinstein film. And I think then that to support that fact, I think SAG the unions need to the unions need to grow some balls and say to young actors. Like this is off the table. If you, happens, if you come to us, yeah, we will get your it. back. Right. Because I'm sure that's a lot of it, as is the case with most sexual assault. I was afraid to report it. Yes. And so mm -hmm. there's a culture of afraid to report it, or oh, sweep, yeah. sweep it under the rug, mm -hmm. or well, you're a young actress in a tight dress, right. you shouldn't have gone up to his office. Like I'm sure there's that bullshit. So I think people need to. Um, there needs to be a whole system in place for people to feel comfortable. Right. 
to report it. Which goes back to cultural shift. Right. Cultural shift. Mm -hmm. And as a young any again, I'm not excusing Harvey Weinstein needs to go to jail. He's a fucking pig. But I've said this to friends of mine. If some guy says, hey, come at late, come up to my hotel, I'm like, no, man. Office, professional environment. Right. And it's awful how they prey on actresses. There's always mm -hmm. some photographer that let's do photos. And it's like, don't fall for any of that. Right. Don't let the stars in your eyes take common sense out of the equation. That I'm just saying that to protect yourself, not right. to excuse what these assholes have done. Right. Yeah. Um I mean that was even like uh you even saw that on uh that last Coen Brothers movie. Right. What was the what was the uh um, Hail Caesar. Right. When, you know, the girl was, you know, taking pictures and the uh, the studio fixer had to go rescue her from the photo shoot. Right. But, you know, there's uh you know, there's correlations between that and, you know, what, what goes on today. Well, that's the thing about the culture. The studio has all these fixers mm -hmm. and they have contacts at the police department to where it's like, hush, hush, cover this up. We got mm -hmm. a lot of money. So I, I'd like to see like some big federal investigation and turn this business up on its ass. <laughs> I'd like to see that happen because there's a lot of creeps. I mean, And Casey, then go after the accounting department. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like Casey Affleck. You know, he's, he, there's all these creepy reports about him. Mm -hmm. There's a few about his brother now. Yeah, there's about his too. brother. Mm -hmm. And everyone's scurrying around because there's mm -hmm. all this money involved. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. If there's all these big hundreds of millions of dollars, you're basically told, oh, you can do whatever you want if you, may, if you generate this kind of money right. in and, this country. And Athletes do it. Celebrities do it. That also gets into the culture of celebrity, too. Because what, when you get into that mindset of, like, I'm a big celebrity and you're interviewed and fawned over uh, every single day of your life, you get that sense of entitlement. Well, I could kind of do whatever I want, and uh, you know, women want these advances that I'm doing. And, right. You know, I'm just playing around, but I'm a big celebrity, so it's okay. You know, it's like if if Dan, who works at Hot Topic at the mall, does it, then all of a sudden he's in jail. <laughs> right. Right. Big celebrity does it, and it's swept under the rug. Yeah. Yeah. So. And you're you're not. It's not even necessarily like an envelope of money. It's like, well, we'll put you in this film. Right. So mm -hmm. you don't say anything. Right, and then you know, then that not always happens too. Like you know, they don't they don't always keep their end of the bargain. That's weird that yeah. creeps don't keep their end of the bargain. <laughs> so it's interesting discussion, and hopefully Hollywood will learn. I do, I don't know. I don't see that it. Well, it's only got one direction to go. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm hoping that uh, some you know some some good comes of it. For yeah, sure. and also too, like guys that work in show business, if you actually see this shit happening, speak up. Yeah. Exactly. You, you know, know? That's, that's the you know there's a the culture has to change and there's also a culture of silence. Yeah, there's a culture of silence, but that's true with most abuse and sexual assault. Is there's so much shame around it that people just don't want to talk about it. Right. So. So talk about it. Talk about it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chris. It's great to be here. Thank you. All right, guys. Uh, like and subscribe to videos, and uh, you know, w watch earbuds. There's the poster right there. Okay. Look at that.